Welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about how artificial intelligence and machine learning can be used for sports science. Before we understand what artificial intelligence is, we need to first look at what data science is. Data science is the intersection of your domain expertise, computer science, and mathematics and scientific methods. So what are the applications of data science within sports science? Well, we can use data science to process and clean data to ensure reliability. We can use statistics to analyze data, and we can use computer science and statistics to create models. From this diagram, we see that machine learning is a subset of data science that relies on computer science and mathematics, and it's used to create models for predictive forecasts, pattern recognition, and prescriptive insights. It's common for terms like artificial intelligence, machine learning, and deep learning to be used interchangeably, but there are subtle differences that we need to be aware of. Um, artificial intelligence has a wide range of applications, and machine learning seems to have the most applications within sports science. And so for that reason, for today's video, we're gonna focus on how we can use machine learning within sports science. Machine learning can be broken down into three main subsets. There's supervised learning, which includes classification and regression. There's unsupervised learning, which includes clustering. And there's reinforcement learning, which includes decision making. Now, classification is a predictive modeling problem that's built for distinct values. So it's going to return like a true or a false or something like an injured versus not injured. A regression is another predictive modeling technique that investigates the relationship between independent variables. So we see here that an example of a regression is a linear regression. So if you've ever ran a linear regression, congratulations, you've used machine learning. Clustering is the process of organizing objects into groups using a machine learning algorithm. And lastly, we have decision making, which is a tool that reduces areas of uncertainty uh, through automatic learning to make sound decisions by analyzing large quantities of data. So how can we implement machine learning into our jobs as a sports scientist? Well, it's first important to remember that as a sports scientist, we're often on the floor with our athletes. And if we're going to utilize machine learning, it should streamline our jobs so that we're able to spend more time with our athletes and not less. Machine learning can be useful for things like talent identification, player recruitment, performance measurements, biomechanics, player injury modeling, and tactical analysis for training and games. There are some concerns when looking at using machine learning in sports. Uh, big data is a big term that gets thrown out there a lot, but what exactly is big data and do we have access to it? So big data refers to large volumes of quality data that require, quote, advanced techniques and technologies to enable the capture, storage, distribution, management, and analysis of the information. Uh, that comes from the Tech America Foundation's Federal Big Data Commission from 2012. Quality is much more important than data quantity, so it's important that we pick metrics that matter and gather them with tenacity. IBM has estimated that the cost of poor data quality in the U.S. alone is at over $3 trillion annually. Not only is it important for us to have quality data, but it's also important for us to have diverse data. We wouldn't pull data from one athlete and make assumptions about the entire team, so it's important that we have a wide range of data that we're able to pull from. It's important to remember that we are data stewards and that data quality is a must. If we gather garbage data, we're going to have garbage results. Data veracity is how accurate and trustworthy the data is. Veracity metrics include the coefficient of variation, intraclass correlation coefficient, and the standard error of measurement. So our key takeaways. As practitioners, we must maintain data integrity and focus on data quality and veracity. Machine learning is a valuable tool for sports scientists to optimize training and reduce the risk of injury, but it has to be used to streamline our jobs so we're able to spend more time with our athletes. Machine learning includes supervised, unsupervised, and reinforcement learning. This slide includes some key resources that I used in the making of this PowerPoint. If you're interested in any of these, I highly recommend that you check them out. Thanks.